Alright you guys welcome back to another Xenoverse 2 modded showcase video and today we do have this new ability for Ultra Instinct Goku that we'll be going over in today's video. So if you guys remembered about two weeks ago I did showcase this new skill called Instinctive Eraser of course created by the homie Bjorn the Bear. Also I will be refreshing you guys' memory just in case if you guys forgot what the skill actually does or how it looks like I will be showcasing this skill along with the new UI Goku skill in today's video. Anyways in that video I did mention that Bjorn the Bear will be releasing a new skill or ability whatever it may be every 10 days for UI Goku. Well it's about that time folks. <laughs> He did release a new skill for UI Goku, of course, if you guys want these mods for yourselves, he releases all his new mods over on his Twitter page, so be sure to follow him over there. He also updates you guys on what he's working on, on his future skills, over on his YouTube channel, so be sure to check him out. Very cool guy in general, so, uh, this new ability for Goku is actually not a new super attack. Nothing along those lines, it's actually a new revamped version of Goku's Ultra Instinct Weave Effect. So if you guys know in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, the first DLC uh, when Beerus and Whis came out, when you had to train with Whis, uh, he had this very unique aesthetic looking Ultra Instinct dodge, right? Just because he's Whis, he's an angel, he's a deity. Anyways, I believe this new uh, ability on Goku is inspired by Whis's Ultra Instinct over in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Make sure to leave a like on today's video if you guys are excited for this new skill attack. So I will be refreshing you guys' memories again with Instinctive Eraser. Oh, that transformation is so beautiful. Or the intro, I guess you can say. And then I will be, you know, comparing the two, the original Weave Effect as well as the newly revamped Weave Effect by Bjorn the Bear. All right, let's do this. So Instinctive Eraser, just in case if you guys forgot, this is how it looks like. Uh, very cool, it pretty much negates everything in its path. And it shoots out a giant key blast. <laughs> I love the after effect, right? <laughs> the blue aura, the pure essence coming out. Goku Yurik! Oh, okay, yeah, so that's the original uh, UI effect. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, if you do it close range, it also breaks your opponent's stamina. Yurik, Goku, get out of here! <laughs> so this is the first attack, or the first modded Ultra Instinct attack created by Bjorn the Bear. And uh, the new one that we're about to witness is the uh, evasive or the uh, weave effect, right? So this is the original uh, weave effect from Xenoverse 2. You know, nothing too fancy, right? Pretty basic. Uh, you know, it's still very cool in my opinion, right? That Dimps, you know, came up with that or whatever. <laughs> but for the new version from Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, created by Beyond the Bear, we do have this new aesthetic looking weave effect. Look at this! <laughs> it's so nice! So this one, he uh, we basically stay in place and it, it basically looks like data input. I'm not gonna lie, Dimps went lazy with this. This is basically data input, right? You know, no effects to it, no sound effects to it at all. Well, I guess we do have the swooshy effect. But you know, nothing too fancy. <laughs> well, this, however, oh, top notch. Look at it! <laughs> it's so great. So, one thing I do notice, uh, obviously, right, right off the bat, uh, we do have the new sound effect. And also, uh, with each punch and with each dodge, uh, Ultra Instant Goku actually scooches backwards. You see this? <laughs> he's going backwards. Wait, hold on. He's not over there anymore. Yo, that's so nice. He's like, he's trying to, uh, you know, avoid every single attack. I mean, obviously, that's what UI Weave Effect does, right? Well, yeah. He oh, what was that? What the heck was that? <laughs> oh, wait, if you attack him from behind, he goes behind you? Oh, that's dope. Oh, oh, he just like a little backflip, I do believe. That's nice. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Yo, Bjorn the Bear, you're amazing with this. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Okay, let me go over here for... Uh, he doesn't, you know, go behind me anymore. So anyways, that he scooches backwards instead of just staying in the same place. 
Like the data input Ultra Instinct over here, right? BORING! <laughs> yeah, so we have the new effects, the new particle effects, and he scooches backwards with each dodge. Very, very cool. Yo, just look at this in photo mode real quick. Hold on, we get this punch over here. There it is, so... Yeah, so you guys can see the, the wind effects right there, the particle effects. Very, very cool. Uh, and then it like enhances the brightness. <laughs> oh, there he is! So you can see where he's uh, spawning, right? So that's how far the distance he's traveling uh, when he's going backwards. You know, not too far. Basically like two characters width, I guess you can say. It's still very cool. I mean, obviously, right? And then he spawns. Oh, yes! The sauce on UI Goku. Hold on. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. The brightness. <laughs> look at his pose, his posture. I like what he's doing right there with his, uh, you know, his stance. He's like, oh! We dodging all attacks. You're trying to hit me? You're weak. Anyways, yeah, there's that. Uh, very, very cool. <laughs> but I do have some super attacks, which you're going to see how some of these look like. Instinct this strike. Oh! <laughs> okay, that was a lot better than the other ones. So you can see him actually like doing that backflip over your character. Oh, right, no, they didn't work that time around. Okay, right here, we paused it. Oh, come on, Goku. Oh, 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 hold on. It's getting kind of blurry. We need to see this in all action over here. So you can kind of see him doing that backflip type deal, right? Oh, oh. <laughs> so he basically goes over your shoulder. All right, so now what you're going to see how long the weave effect can hold. So we're going to be doing a whole bunch of attacks. Uh, Celestial Whirlwind. Oh yeah, of course he'll be dodging that. Uh, oh, Trey Lee, hand speed, dude! Oh yes, yo, we have to keep this going though. <laughs> yeah, look at this. <laughs> Revamp Goku is just like, oh, we broke his stamina. Oh, so it, it takes stamina. I didn't even uh, take that into consideration. I didn't even know that to be to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, it breaks stamina. <laughs> Very, very cool. I do love this though. He just scoots very, uh, he just scoots all the way back so we can hardly touch him, right? Come on, Goku, you're weak! You, wait, what? Nandato? Yo, he's outside of the map! What the heck? Wait, Glare Platoon? <laughs> Yo, he even dodges Glare Blitz, but we're also outside of the map. Okay, let's let's use Glare Blitz from this point of view, right? See how this looks like. Okay, so that's enough of that. So since we're out of the map, let's just explore for a little bit. Oh my gosh! This is, can we go over here though? <gasps> we can. What the heck? <laughs> We broke the time barrier, or the sound barrier, whatever you want to call this. Oh, we can't go on this. Yo, this one thing I'll give uh, Dim's props for, you know, actually putting some details, you know, outside of the maps that we can't get to, right? So we do have this where the Grand Prix stands. Yo, this was supposed to be like an Ultra Instant Goku showcase, but I guess we're showcasing the Terminal Power map, right? Oh, yo, we have... Yo! <laughs> we have Zenos! We have the Twins! Yo, watch this. Watch this, boys. Oh, yo, I, this is not the right Goku. I was about to use Instinctive Eraser and just annihilate these guys, right? Uh, but yeah, <laughs> very, very cool in photo mode. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at this. Yo, this is kind of strange. Yo, I love going outside the map. Should I make a video going outside the map on each map? <laughs> That'd be kind of strange, actually. Oh, my gosh. Look, they're, they're skinny. They're like... I don't know, paper thin, cardboard, Zenos. <laughs> no, my whole life has been a lie. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> but yeah, look, this is actually very, very cool. Wait, my aperture, we need this. Very, very low. There it is. Look how they look, though. <laughs> Let's go see if we can go over here to the actual, you know, uh, tower thing that, you know, represents the time for the term of power. I believe we will be getting stuck here short. Yep, we got stuck. Uh-huh. Yep. 
So when you go to a certain spot, you usually get stuck. Yo, look at the details over there, the smoky effect. All right, so yeah, let's just restart. We're probably going to some compilation dodge effects for the rest of the video. Of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah! 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 Yeah!